at home. Um, new year, new you, we're just talking about making a better you. Um, taking the steps that you need to take to be healthier, to um, live better, to move more, to eat better, just taking care of yourself. We um, tend to take care of everyone else, but we also have to remember to take care of yourself. So we are taking small strides in, in classes, a lot of exercising, um, whether you go into the senior center or you're doing something on your own at home. Um, we have lots of exercise programs and classes that we really encourage you to take advantage of. Ever wonder how your government really works? Well, get a front row seat to the inside workings of Charles County government through our Citizens Academy. Each week, Academy participants explore the departments and hear from the people that make our government work. Charles County Government Citizens Academy is now accepting applications for its spring 2020 session. The eight week program begins on Thursday, March 12th. The deadline to apply is Friday, January 31st at 4 p.m. Classes will take place each Thursday from 7 to 9 p.m. and two Saturdays from 9.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. at various locations throughout the county. The program is open to Charles County residents age 18 and older. Visit us online at www.charlescountymd.gov backslash community. Become a county ambassador. Martin Luther King Jr. was born on January 15, 1929 in Atlanta, Georgia. He was the second child of Martin Luther King Sr., a pastor, and Alberta Williams King, a former school teacher. At 15, he was admitted to Morehouse College where he studied medicine and law. The King family had been living in Montgomery for less than a year when the struggle for civil rights in America was galvanized by the landmark Brown vs. Board of Education decision of 1954. On December 1, 1955, Rosa Parks, secretary of the local chapter of the NAACP, refused to give up her seat to a white passenger on the Montgomery bus and was arrested. Activists coordinated a bus boycott that would continue for 381 days and it placed a severe economic strain on the public transit system and downtown business owners. They chose Martin Luther King Jr. as the protest leader and official spokesperson. When the Supreme Court ruled segregated seating on public buses unconstitutional in November 1956, he had entered the national spotlight as an inspirational proponent of organized, nonviolent resistance. King had also become a target for white supremacists. They firebombed his family home. In 1960, Dr. King was arrested, and during that time he wrote many books and the famous Letters from Birmingham Jail, which was addressed to a group of white clergymen who had criticized his tactics. Martin Luther King Jr. worked with a number of civil rights and religious groups to organize the March on Washington for Jobs and Freedom, a peaceful political rally designed to shed light on the injustices African Americans continued to face across the country. Standing on the steps of the Lincoln Memorial, a monument to the president who a century earlier had brought down the institution of slavery in the United States, he shared his vision of a future in which this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. On the evening